Uh, this is a matrix uh, solving equation uh, question. I have to say, I thought the equations themselves in the first place were quite difficult to set up. But once you've done that, it's straightforward standard um, solving question. So do have a go and try and set up some expressions, however complicated it looks. Um, so uh, remember with these, you should always define your variable. So I've got three theme parks. So I'm going to say A is and then you have to see what you think it might be um so it's going to be we read all the information okay and all the information is given is given about the number of visitors they had in 2016. so my three variables are going to be a is number of visitors to park a in 2016. You have to be very specific about that. Then you're going to do the same for B and the same for C. They're going to be part B and part C. You'll have to write that in your exam. Right. Then we're going to have a look at the information we've got on what we can do with this. Okay. So um, we have to use this information here. We know that A makes a profit of 30 per visitor, B makes profit of 26, and so on. So let's write, see if we can write an equation about the profit. Okay. So um, the profit from Park A is going to be 30 times A, the profit from Park B is going to be 26 times B, and the profit from Park C is going to be 33 times C. This must be some more info somewhere, to because we're going to use every piece of information to turn that into an equation. Um, so all the way down here, we've got the profit in 2016, and that's what we defined our letters to be. So if we add those up, they've got to add to 39.15 million. So you've got to be careful. You've either got to write that out or write 39.15 times 10 to the 6 in order to get the right values. So I've used that. <laughs> Right, what else um, have we now got? Um, we've now got some information about the number of visitors. Um, so let's have a look at visitors. What have they told us? They've told us the visitors during 2017, which is this information here. So let's have a look at visitors in 2017. Like Park A, and you'll read this very carefully, had only 50% of the numbers it had in 2016. So Park A's visitors are now 50% of what I've defined as A. But Park B had 25% more, so I have to increase that by 25%. <laughs> Similarly for Park C, and the total number was one, three, five, zero, 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 or if you're using times 10 to 6, you can convert that. We're going to need at least one more equation because I've got three unknowns. They've also told us about the profits for 2017. So this was profit 2016. Now we're going to do profit 2017. Um, so now we're going to have to do a bit of work because uh, we've now got to combine the visitors with the profit. Okay? So, for example, in 2017, uh, for A, it's going to be £30 per visitor, but the number of visitors has dropped by 0.15. Then for Park B, I'm going to have £26 per visitor, but there are now 1.25B visitors times that. And then for C, it's 33 times 1.15. Um, and their total profit has dropped by 1%. So I'm going to do 0.99 times my previous profit. Okay. Uh, now you'll work all those uh, calculators out but uh, work all those numbers out in your calculator uh, once we've now got three equations and three unknowns i can turn it into a matrix equation which you must then do so and then if you work these numbers out you get this Okay, 
make sure you keep those in their lines in the right order, otherwise it's going to go wrong. Um, now you should show a bit more working at this stage because uh, I'm just explaining the method. I'm just going to call that matrix M. Your next stage of writing would be to write it out in this order. Okay, to show that you're using the inverse matrix. Um, you then work out the inverse in calculator. Okay, so there you could put your matrix to the power of, uh, well, not to the power of negative one, but for negative one to show you're using the inverse, or you could work it out and write the inverse matrix in if you're worried about showing you're working. Um, and that should then get you uh, to A, B, C equals, now this is always worth showing a few more sig fig before we round. Oh, that was five. They're truncated rather than rounded. Um, and now we're going to check the question because we'll put everything back in context at the end. And they want two significant figures, the number of visitors in 2016. So we go back and we say Park A had 400,000 visitors in 2016 and then you do the same for park B okay and then you would do the same you'd have to write all this out so make sure everything is back in context uh, to finish the question. So at the start, we define our variables in context. At the end, we put the conclusion back in context.